What's up guys, this is Ashnok, showcase of Soltaria of the Snow, brand new natural 5 star Moonlight hero in Epic 7. So let me show you guys her stats, her gear and the stats of the other heroes in the team. She has 15 skill ups and uh, her stats are not that great. Uh, it's pretty decent though. So skill 3, single target attack, this uh, reduces buff duration by one turn. So you can remove immunity set from immu well, immunity buff from immunity set, stun them, push back their combat units, get stealth. She can soul burn this if she has the Gale's Ancient Book or another mage in the team. And then the skill 1's an AoE attack. You can potentially stun the whole team. If you have her on Abyssal Crown, she's going to be super cancerous. And uh, if it's a dual attack or counter attack, it cannot be an AoE attack. It will be a single target attack, guys. So remember that. The passive, very strong. And when you have a buff, you get Daydream. Daydream is not an actual buff. Uh, and then you can land one of these uh, random debuffs. Very powerful stuff. So uh, for the Imprint Concentration... Uh, it's good, but I decided to go with Imprint Release. The health uh, helps me uh, boost the team survivability. I have used an Unknown Slate on her. And for her stats, like I said, it's uh, nothing insane. It's pretty decent though. So I decided to reforge some pieces which I was not too happy about. But I just did it for the showcase, to be honest. So uh, yeah, her stats, you definitely want a bunch of speed. You want a ton of effectiveness and some sur survivability as well uh, i will try her on a damage build later on actually probably the next video i feel like she can definitely dish out some uh, pretty uh good damage so yeah she's on tagiel's ancient book i don't have abyssal crown on this account unfortunately now for the other hero that i brought along with her Ervelin, uh speedy build uh, big damage out of him uh, it's a pretty solid hero actually our demon shadow uh, she deals quite a bit of damage with this build the counter uh, set triggers are very nice isla's violent for the strips designer a little bit uh, very good actually she helped a lot when i was bringing her along so pretty cool i brought as well uh shu uh quite a bit of damage out of this hero actually so uh yeah Fawn CC for the survivability increase, very nice. And I brought Troublemaker Crozet. He is in the Mystic Rotation with uh, ML Edda, so that's really cool. You guys will see him in action after the buff. I haven't showcased him after the buff, but yeah, sneak peek. It's going to be fun. Ambitious Tywin, very powerful hero. Angelica, quite a bit of sustain out of this hero, and I, I feel like more players should be using her in PvP. She, she heals for a ton, man, and the immunity, the barrier... Uh, she heals really for a lot, so pretty cool. It's time for the showcase. Here we go, baby. Let's see what we can do here. I'd like to uh, control ML Ken with uh, Edda. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go with the Soul Burn. Politus is slower. Maybe I get lucky. Let's see here. I'm buffed. So I could potentially land a stun on her. Okay. Enable to buff debuff. Let's uh let's go here. Let's uh buff up, heal up, barrier. Now she's not gonna do much to us. Very nice. And we can start to use Urvelan to uh to deal some damage to someone i'm, I'm thinking uh, ml can just uh, let's see what we can do before he actually goes i mean no attack buff right Ooh, nice okay you know what i kind of want to delay this uh this stun right here i will do that nice provoke and let's see we if we can cripple them I always attack whoever you want to potentially have a door attack with. Uh, Politus, I mean, she... Let's just try, let's see. I mean, fire versus ice. It's bound to happen. And uh, maybe I stun him. Ho oh, ho, nice. And here, I, I can soul burn. That's great. That is so powerful when you soul burn Ambitious Tywin's uh, skill 3. Okay, speed down at least. And uh, let's control Politis. Look at that. Very nice. With the speed down, with the, the stuns, it's quite effective. I can leave her be for now, but I feel like I should provoke Crawl before working on him. 
That's the issue here. I can't just... Okay, there we go. That's the Provoke. Now... Yeah, let's just go Politis. In case there's a dual attack. Okay. Damage, of course, is low because I don't have her on a damage build. And... She showed up. You know what? Like... Let's, let's attack her. And let's... Let's buff. Mm. It's okay, ambitious Tywin. He he is gonna live. He's gonna live. He's really tanky. And there she goes again. Prophet a candlestick trigger on uh, Angelica. That's nice. I got lucky here. I'm buffed, so you can expect some debuffs. There we go. Attack break. Speed down. Yeah, she she's fairly annoying, right? Solitary of the snow. Well, it looks like Ambitious Tywin is even more annoying because <laughs> with those soul bars, he's got a short cooldown on that S3. Okay, let's uh, start working on this Kraal since uh, he's uh, controlled. Can clean up at this point. I don't feel threatened. Oh man, nice damage. Troublemaker Cruzette is in here. Let's see how he performs. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting. We got designer a little bit to uh, deal with uh, all these annoying debuffs. And yeah, I'll just put this on Solitaria. Let's just make sure she's going to survive. The thing is, I have the exclusive equipment to push the combat shrewdness. So I could have definitely have done something different. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to deal with this annoying Arbiter Vildred. Let's stun him. Then let's see uh, how lucky we get with uh, the S1. So I could have uh, stripped Blood Moon Haste, but I opted not to. So we got attack break on Armentha. Now more debuffs means that little bit is Yep, gonna jump ahead right like, like this. And now, what I'm wondering is... Yeah, is RB going down? Oh, he is. Okay. God, greater attack buff. The reason why I brought Angelica is because I knew the damage uh, across the whole team is gonna be high. And Angelica is very good uh, to, to bring a lot of healing. So, it seems to be working out just fine. Now, we have to keep this Arbiter in check. Here we go. Soul Burn to guarantee the stun. Unless, of course, 15% innate resist gets you good. But now, uh, we do have the Crescent Chan. Oh my god, the triple miss. Are you kidding me? Doesn't matter because Daydream can still land. So, you know, those debuffs. Very nice. Very nice stuff. And maybe I can silence her. I don't know if uh, she was ready to cast something. But anyways, it's done. Let's heal up. Okay, we uh, we did stabilize. Now I definitely want to uh, take Arbiter out. So I'm gonna try my luck again with a stun. Nope. Okay, those do attack. They, they're really dangerous. I gotta be careful because... Uh, you know what? I'll just attack him again, right? Let's just put some more damage on him. I just want that stealth. Okay. Strip, yep. Okay. Now, this RB needs to go down. Stun him. Oh, Troublemaker Crozet. He goes down now, though. Good. We should be fine. Uh, we definitely should be. Uh, I should check their cooldowns. Okay, they, they got Ceres ready. It's okay. It's okay. If we get lucky here... One stun would help a lot. Nope. But we'll we'll still be fine because we can we can heal the damage. Now, anyone has their cooldown? Still no one. I will not soul burn. Work on her. Nice dual attack. And well, the cleansing here is very nice. The CR push as well. Such a powerful skill. Showcased him in the past. You can check my old videos. But he got buffed, so it's it's a it's different now. More chance to stun. 
he's very annoying to deal with. So now big heal. Look at that. I mean, it's not the greatest. Because she heals based on her own uh, maximum health. So a healer like, let's say, Angelique Momorancy would actually heal for, uh, for more. Uh, you know what? Let, let's not. You know, let, let's just do it. I'm just going to attack her. I mean, I could have taken her out with a little bit, though. Oh, God. I should have checked my cooldown. That's why you want to check your cooldowns, though. But sometime when you, like, see someone that can go down, and you're like, well, if that one goes down, it the, the, the victory is there. Like, we got this. It's in the bag. So you could just, like, take that hero out and just turn on auto. Well, in arena, that is. But, yeah. Uh, let, let's move on to the next battle, because... Uh, this is in the back. That definitely is. Uh, they, they cannot come back from this. We we just healed back up. This is a ton of damage. Let's see what we can do here. So, I definitely need to keep this uh, Arbiter Vildred in check. So, hopefully, Lilibet can jump ahead and we can cleanse those debuffs right off. Okay, nice counter. Uh, should be an easy way to, to, to go here. Boom. There we go. Now, this should hit pretty hard. She has some damage. Okay. Now, I definitely want to soul burn. And going for Arbiter. And then, if I can land a stun or cripple, you know, this... Oh, God. Oh, God. I was not expecting that much damage. It's light versus dark. I'm gonna attack... RB again, maybe there's a door attack that triggers. Come on. Oh god. Oh, at least it blocked the Alexis basket. No greater attack buff for you. That's good. Now with the skill nullifier. Well she's still <laughs> she's stunned. Salinas was stunned. That's perfect. Now, well he already went down. Oh man, uh, there's like so many options here. Like who to attack? Let's just go Arbiter because he's about to go anyways. I'm like, well, I don't need to seal him. You can never guarantee the seal uh, from Archdemon Shadow, man. That, that's the that's the problem. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can soul burn her. But outside of that, it, it's it's not reliable, man. man that, that was a quick one. I like those. Uh, well, pretty good usage of the whole team, I would say. I brought Shu in this one. Should be interesting. Now she, she's on a bruiser build and uh, a little bit can do some damage as well. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I forgot all the immunity sets that I have. I thought I would have more debuffs on me. Okay, so I will be attacking uh, Politis. Let's uh, hopefully remove that immunity and stun her. And then I will connect into the S1. Okay, good, good. Now I can potentially stun two more. So I will target Arbiter. Maybe there's a door attack that happens. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, at least it blocks the greater attack buff. Now I need my Fawn and Cecilia because I, I feel like this team can deal a ton of damage if I cannot land my, you know, my stuns. They cripple them something. So let's do some damage. Get the entire crit buff. It should hopefully help us. Okay, decent amount of damage. And now... Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, the, the enable to buff debuff was uh, was actually pretty huge there. Right? Because it's also blocking the uh, skill nullifier. And barriers. Okay. Nice, but uh, what about this? Oh, God. Man, come on. Ah, uh, okay, uh, let's go, of course, miss, decrease hitch, I mean, uh, enables to buff debuff on RB, okay, okay, here we go, baby, here we go, some damage from a little bit, gotta take RB out, come on, okay, good chunk, nice, nice, uh, I can take him out now, this should be in the bag, yeah, okay, very cool. And uh, I don't have full focus just yet. Let's attack Fallen because there's a barrier on, uh, uh, you know, Fairy Tail Tenebria. 
It's actually... I take that off. Take it off, stunner. Should it work, right? Oh, it's a two-turn uh, buff. It's okay. It's okay. One more turn, and then Shu can go hard with S2. I'm curious how hard she hits. I think I did change a bit of gear on her. Not 100% on that. But let's just check the number. And uh, one last S1 here. Oh, nice. Stun plus decreased hit chance. Uh, she's got barrier, but we'll see. We'll have a good idea. Okay, 7,000 with the bearers. What, like 9,000 damage for a bruiser? I mean, she's got pretty high defense, I think. Usually, Fallen CCs have a decent amount of defense as well. Yeah. I mean, that was cool. That was cool. Uh, a good battle right there. And it, it did showcase, well, every hero in the team, basically. If you're looking for an emulator to play Epic 7 or other mobile games on your computer, the one that I was using before my laptop crapped out is in the description of the video with the instruction on how to install it properly. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, let us know what you guys think about Solitaria of the Snow in the comments section. I'm Ashenox. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.